Hello guys, today we will uh, develop a model for signalized intersection. In this lecture, we will study how to, to create the networks on signalized intersection, how to manage conflict areas, and uh, where to put sign stops and signal heads. And beside that, we will go for the vehicle inputs and vehicle road choices. So in order to proceed for the uh, for evaluation purpose, let's start with the NMH background. Uh, for that reason, we have to choose background image and then uh, right click on the screen, add a new background image. From here, we will select the background image. So, as you can see, the background image is like uh, we have to adjust the background image according to the scales of the networks. So, let me zoom in and provide a scale. So, we have to right click again on the image and here an option set scale is available select that and choose the dimension of i mean the width of the road let me give 3.5 so the image uh, dimension has been given Okay, now we are to create the links at the start. So we will provide links here. Number of links, suppose uh, this is with bound. The number of lane is three. Okay. In the other direction, we have only two lanes. We make two. We have only four. Eastbound, we have three, we have four. We can double click and make it four. And here we have only two.
now we have to provide the connectors to each lane I mean this is from this direction we can provide a curve and this is connector number 1000 and we are only connecting lane number 1 you can see here we are connecting again the same Connecting two lanes. Suppose if we are missing, we can arrange in this way. So according to the diagram we have, uh, we have created all links and uh, connectors to each direction. Now we have to go for the root choice. So we have to provide the root choice for each case. For example this is root choice 1. these directions come to the root choice three one two Okay, the root choice is set up. Now we have to put values according to the given directions for each case. 
for example here we can put the real value 136 we have floors there 6 7 183 182 for this direction now we can put another one 123 23 here we can put 252 to 526 and here 188 and here we can put 250 for through movement is 729 and here only 100 87. In this case, we have 231, and here we have only 288. So the real case uh, data has been inserted. We can now close and assign the vehicles to each case. Here, the total vehicle is This is 991 for 837 1166 for now we will select uh, Default composition of the vehicles. Later on, we can change types of uh, different vehicles that we have to consider for this simulation purpose. So, we can close all these applications. The data has already been introduced, so we don't need the background image. We can remove the background image from here. Just delete. And now the conflict areas, as you can see, here it is visible. I mean, this is a signalized uh, intersection, so we can we can provide the stop signs and signal heads. So for the signal heads, uh, we have to go to the signal control. In the signal control, we have to create signal group. Here we have to provide uh, a signal group control one edit signal control. For example, we provide signal control one a name, and then we have to so we have to provide four phase signal group, and uh, for four is we have to assign groups here red green number is selected <coughs> red green number red green number and here also red green number so we have to assign a matrix in this case, phase we have to set the cycle time. The cycle time is one hundred twenty, and use the matrix. 
now for each signal we have to assign the timing which only 35 seconds The green time according to the mm, traffic data we have to consider and in, insert in the program. The green time for signal group 1 is 35 and for signal group 2 is 60. So we have to assign it here and the umber time for each signal group is 3 seconds. So accordingly we have to provide the matrix and then insert in signal group program and then as you can see that all the signal group program is fixed suppose if uh, I am missing one there will be an error message so now it is ok we can close the signal group and we will save the changes and ok so now we can provide signal group to each uh, leg Here we can uh, assign signal group the left uh, inside signal group 1 and this is also signal group 1 signal group 1 and signal group 1 For this case, we have to select signal group 2. Group 3. Now we can see we can zoom in and adjust the signals in one alignment. Now we have to put the signal group before the pedestrian areas. We can save the changes and run the simulations. For 3D view, we can use this 3D options and uh, we can zoom in. As you can see here, In next videos, we will uh, assign uh, some parameters for data collection purpose. Hope you have enjoyed the lessons. Thank you.